Where's that treasure? What's happening, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. And today, we're going to talk about my pal Lake House Beach Bullion. Yes, hand poured art. I got some pieces in my collection from him. Let me give him a shout out and a cheers. And I just got back from the Bahamas. I've actually got some great videos to show you guys in the next several days. So I'm just going to crank them out. Uh, big shout out, Loggerhead Distillery. We have pretty much killed their moonshine. <laughs> it was delicious. Cheers to Lake House Beach. Boom. Yes. Mm. Always delicious. All right. So I have a treasure chest and it has poured pieces in it. Random poured pieces from friends, from different artists. And I'm trying to fill it up. Lake House Beach is one of those guys. He's done stuff. I've seen some really incredible pieces. And I still need to get some of those. Uh, he's on Instagram. But I see him all over the place. And uh, this guy's legit. Beautiful works of art. He just had thrown up a little baby order of some smaller pieces and i mean look at how cool these are it's upside down skull and crossbones hammered out three nines fine silver weights on the back i mean this is it's a cool piece you know i love it and i love these little bits and pieces these odds and ends here lake house beach hammered on just a cool pour. And uh, again, they got the size on the back. They're just simple. Now, these are a couple of his little half ounce, little messy guys, his rum pirate skulls. And I love that they are imperfect. Because to me, when I'm filling up my pirate treasure chest, this stuff is cool. You know, it's neat. It's stamped on the back. It is a half ounce. You know, these are just neat little pieces. And when I envision opening up a treasure chest, that's what I envision is pirate treasure, right? So it's just some neat little pieces by Lake House Beach. And uh, again, it's just fun to have some of this stuff and collect from some of you artists out there. You know, and that's just kind of a neat piece of silver. And, uh, and these are going to go in, you know, with, with my cool loot in the treasure box here. You know, I've got some cool pieces. I've shown them off before, but it's always neat to check out some of these poured pieces. Rat Stack did that one there. Merce Metals, cool looking pours from him. Yeah, Rat Stack, my original Pirate Stacker. Silver round. Yeah. That's a hell of a piece right there. Very cool. My coin ring. Love it. And to me, if I opened a treasure chest, I would expect to see silver and gold rings. I wish I had some gold. <laughs> Just some cool little bits and pieces. So, as, as I said, I'm going to keep filling up this box. The poured silver is... Not something I want to be a bulk of my collection, uh, but it sure does look cool and piratey. Guess there's my north on top. Uh, it just is one of those things, you know, I enjoy it. Oh, and from a previous video, it was Marvelous Metals it was the one that made my copper channel rounds. Let me give him credit where credit is due. The ones that look like this. And, of course, you know, that goes in my treasure box, too. If I'm a pirate, there we go, the old pirate channel rounds. If I'm a pirate, to me, this is all treasure. This is what I would expect to see in a box. You know, some little ones there. Anyway, very cool. Again, a big shout-out to Lake House Beach. And, uh, you know, this is just kind of my poured silver, my little treasure chest. Got it from Aloha Stacker within the community. Super cool. 
Anyway, I just wanted to share with you, interesting stuff coming down the pipe. I was in the Bahamas, a bank with no cash. Yeah, you think that could happen? Well, it's already happening. Let me tell you about it because it's going to blow your mind. Next time, we're going to check out some Bahamas loot and check out the banks with no cash coming to a bank near you. I can guarantee it. That's it for today. Pirate out. Arrgh! <laughs>